What do you think about the whole Confederate flag thing that's happening right now? Uh, I mean, they don't fly the Confederate flag in Chicago, do they? No. No. I don't think it's no Confederate flag in Chicago. No. Before it would probably send all type of bullet holes through that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think it's the Confederate flag in Chicago. Uh, I forgot the girl name who did it, but she's courageous for that. Like that's you and know. She what I'm climbed saying? up and took she down. She climbed up and took flag. it down, and now she going to jail for that for a Confederate flag. So y'all really give a fuck about a, a flag that symbolizes racism right. that much? Well, it's a rebel flag. Racism. Yeah. It's all that. Basically, it's a, it's a, it was it's a, all a symbol that. of slavery. Right. The whole night. The whole night. And whole basically night. it all sums into that, you feel me? So she took it down. What's the big deal? Do you think a the flag four itself? four year old just got shot in the head not too long ago in Chicago. Yeah. That probably didn't even make the news. Right. Like, you don't know about that, do you, in L.A.? No. You don't know about that, but no. everybody want to put this whole, oh, she tore the Confederate flag down. It's all type of shit going on, bro. I know, I know people in the hood whose fucking grandma just got shot. Shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, mothers coming out the crib, niggas shooting. It's too much shit going on, you feel me? Like, in my city. So, as far as the Confederate flag thing, all right, that's cool, she did that, but that was courageous. I salute her, but I'm not for the media putting a big spotlight on this. There's so much more going on in the world. What would you think of the, the Rachel Dolezal thing? The, the NAACP leader, the one who said she was black, but she was really white? She said she was black? How's she, how's she really white then? I don't really know. You, you don't know the story? Bro. You feel me? So, yeah, what's on. the story? You don't know about that? Hold on, hold on. No, this man. is like the biggest. This chick right here. She was a. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> I don't I, I don't know her, but I just seen her picture on my little homie Fresh page. He from right. Philly, man. She, she just won the best actress. He talking about white girls. <laughs> he talking about white girls um spray painting their face and shit. Talking about right. some man, he was tripping. That was some old funny shit he was talking about. So, so, Instagram. so you don't know the story exactly. Okay, so the story is there was this woman named Rachel Dolezal. She was the head of the NAACP mm -hmm. in Washington. Of course I know what the NAACP is. Right. So, But right. she was the head of the NAACP in, mm -hmm. I think, Spokane, Washington. And uh, she talked about, you know, uh, she went to Howard. She, you know, had, had talks. She's a professor. She was talking about how hard it was growing up black and the racism she endured and stuff like that. And they found out that she actually isn't black. She's like white. She's like German and Scottish. She kinked her she hair has up. No African American zero, in her. Zero. Zero. And she made her hair kind of kinky. She had braids. She she would get the spray tan. And she basically went around telling people she was black. She'd get a spray tan? Yeah, so she's so a she's not darker. that color for real. She's not that color for real. Hold on, hold on. I'll, I'll show you I'll show you the, the original. Man, uh, hell no, I ain't hear about that. <laughs> That's what he was talking about. Some white girls spray paint their faces. This is what she looked like when she was a little girl. <laughs> oh shit. You serious? She's a regular, you know, blonde, white girl. Like. Right. Why would she even want to do that? Her parents weren't mad at her? Well, she, she was saying <laughs> that, you know, that when she was growing up, uh, her, her parents beat her for being black and, you know, all this other type of stuff. And you know, How her parents beat her for being black? That yeah. mean they black too. No, and, you know, this is, I'm saying like... <laughs> And she um, really spray tan herself. She spray tan, and you know she just kind of ran with the sly for years, and then and then and you know, she just they just not finding out she white. Yeah, after like twenty years. <laughs> Man, somebody in her personal circle here got mad at her. Her like, parents. I think she had spoken out about her parents beating her and stuff like that, and they finally just said nah. Like they went and did an interview, said she's not black, she's white. We're both white. <laughs> Cause she tried to say her father was this black dude who wasn't really, Man, her, you know. She, did, she rich, ain't she? Rich as hell. I know she rich. I don't That's, think she. I don't think she. I mean, NAACP doesn't pay like that. Man, I don't she, think she's what, a millionaire. What was her purpose then? If it wasn't to get rich, you don't. <laughs> you never see that though. Hell no. <laughs> that shit just tripped me out, bro. Like, why would you want to be black, or why would you lie about? You feel me? Hell no, man. And that's that's uh, like type of shit like that. That'd be hard for me to understand, you feel me? All right, okay, it's a lot of killing going on and shit like that, but certain people got good hearts, genuine hearts. Right. Like, I, I ain't never witnessed child abuse. 
You feel me? Shit like that. Like a lot everybody who I be around, they mamas love the fuck out of them. Everybody in the streets I be around, mamas are that for them right now. So people moms who abuse them and I don't relate to that type of shit. There's certain type of shit, different people go through their own certain kind of struggle, you feel me? Like mm-hmm. it may be a person who white come from a white family, they parents beat them every time they come home, brutally beat them. Right. People like us don't go through that type of shit. Did you hear about uh, Chet Hayes? You know who that is? No. Nope. <laughs> Chet Hayes is Tom Hanks' son. You know the actor? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know who Tom Hanks is. Tom Hanks is one of my the... favorite actors. Actually. Yeah. He Oscar winner. Yeah. I, think, I think he's worth about $350 million. So his son, Chet Hayes, uh, is a rapper now. His name, well, his, his, I think his name is Chet. Yeah. His real name is Chet, but his rap name was Chet Hayes. So he put out some songs using the N-word. And he made a video oh, oh, defending him, defending the use of it. Look, I know the majority of y'all are not going to get this. That's how it makes because sense. the history is still so fresh in our country. But hip-hop isn't about race. It's about the culture you identify with. And can't no one tell me what I can't say. I just want to clarify one thing. Under no circumstances would I ever go up to somebody that I didn't know and just be like, Hey, what's up, my nigga? It's an unspoken thing between people who are friends who understand each other. Mm, I don't know, man. I can't. You feel me? Like, I ain't gonna lie. I got white friends who I got genuine relationships okay, with. Okay, do, do your white friends use the N-word around I'm you? I'm trying to think. That's what I'm thinking of <laughs> right now. Like, I can't really recall because they talk. I got a homie who I could talk to like he is... From 79th and Essence. And he ain't nowhere near from 79th and Essence. He's okay. from Glencoe. But I fuck with him. You feel me? And he, okay. you know what I'm saying? We got a genuine relationship. And we can have those type of conversations. I'm trying to think. I think he have used the N-word around me. Like, Tom Hanks' son might be kind of right. Like, <laughs> slavery so long ago. Like, I feel like I ain't, you know what I'm saying? The racism shit. It depends on if you calling me a nigga being disrespectful. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I had a genuine relationship with Tom Hanks' son, and that was my homie, I, what, what, like, what what's if up, I, my nigga? Or, what if a random white person came up to you and said, what's up, my N-word? Nah, I ain't too much feeling that. You we ain't feeling fuck, that. We gonna get into it almost. I'm gonna be like, what's up, my cracker? What's up, my honky? So if you let me say that, then I, okay, cool. And what if they cool with that? Like, all right. All right, I'm cool with it. <laughs> so that's how it works? That's, that's how, how we go play there, you feel me? Shit, I'm cool with it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really get too much offended by that type of shit unless you're trying to be disrespectful. Okay. Like, say it's a white person trying to be funny. Like, oh, yeah, what's up, my nigga trying to show out for his white friends? Oh, yeah, we got a problem. Okay. Well, but if you're being genuine, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think my homie who then been on the phone with another white man or another white person has been like, man, this nigga tweaking. You feel me? Like, okay. that, it just be All crazy right. like that. All right, let's, let's take a step back. You you use the N word in your in your songs. Mm-hmm. You you perform at shows with, with, a, with white a white crowds. With a white so when audience. they going around and say, "Kobe, I wish you could have got around home, my nigga." I don't got a problem with that. Okay, so so if you if you stop, you know, if you doing your verse and you stop and let the crowd sing and along, they say, "My nigga," all white people. Hey, have you had a crowd that's like all white people? Yes. Yeah. And you cool with that? Hell yeah. Why? I, because that's why I make music for people to embrace it. I'm not racist, bro. I'm an artist. Okay. I don't got no beefs, none of that shit. I'm an artist at the end of the day, you feel me? So if you disrespect me, of course we're going to have a problem. But I'm I'm past that. All that game banging and shit, I didn't mature, bro. I'm a grown man. I'm trying to get rich, you feel me? Like, it's not too much you could do to get to me. You, if you can't get to me, you can't get to me. So, so what you're saying is, from here on in, you know, all the white people that go to your shows, that go they to can, my show, they can sing along to all all the lyrics and every can song. Sing along to all my niggas, I love when I'm around a white crowd and they know my music. What? I'm turning up. Okay. Like, that's what I do it for, bro. I'm trying to get beyond all that shit, bro. I ain't trying to be held in no shell, no box. Oh yeah, herb. He can't do no more shows because he jumped off the stage and punched the white boy for singing his fucking lyrics. <laughs> Hell no. This situation, Diddy's a multimillionaire. 
Uh, his son has been going to that school for a few years now. Never heard of any situations. Clearly something happened where Diddy felt his manhood was being disrespected or uh, he was in some sort of danger. A motherfucker in this day and age will do anything if they feel like it's gonna go viral. You know what I mean? If motherfuckers is gonna be talking about it, shit, I'll do whatever. 